today we're gonna finish uh, BGT amplifiers and we're gonna start you know uh, another type of transistor which is the N most transistors or most transistors in general okay this lecture will be in two parts okay uh, in two uh, separate videos so this is the first video the first part uh, in which I will just you know uh, complete uh, BGT amplifiers so one last topic that we should talk about is uh, the multi-stage amplification. Last lecture, we touched upon this. Uh, we said that we use common collector amplifier, which is which has gain equal almost to one. Uh, when we want to interface uh, a, a source with high internal resistance to a load with very low resistance. And we see that at that if we if we put in between a uh, common collector, this will enhance you know uh, the transfer of the voltage from the source to the load. Okay. And we said that uh, a practical situation is that this source is not you know a practical source like a voltage source you know or power source or a power supply. It's actually uh, a common uh, emitter stage. So some amplifier, some common, common, common emitter amplifier that has very high gain, but it has very high output resistance. So if we compare it to the load, most of the output voltage, most of the amplification will go to the, you know, the output resistance and, and minor part of that uh, amplification will go to the load. So we need to put common collector in between. So in this lecture, we're gonna touch upon uh, multi-stage amplifiers in which we use two uh, amplifiers. They may be of the same type. Both are common collector or common base or common, uh, collect, uh, or common emitter. Or maybe, uh, you know, uh, a common collector with a common emitter or a common collector with a common base or a common emitter with a common base based on the application. So we usually uh, combine uh, two or more uh, amplifiers together to enhance the amplification characteristics. And when we say enhance the amplification or improve the amplification characteristics, we mean improve either AV, the voltage gain, or improve uh, the input resistance, make it high, or improve the output, res output resistance, make it low. Or maybe, you know, a combination of these three uh, uh, characteristics. Okay, so the first example we see here is actually a two-stage amplifier. Okay, it's called uh, cascaded common emitter amplifier. So we have here uh, two common emitters. Just look at this, uh, the first stage, stage one. So stage one here, it's a common emitter. Why? Because the input is at the base and the output is at the collector. So let's call this base one, collector one, because we have two transistors here. Then this output will be, you know, connected to the input of the second transistor, Q2. So here is B2. So output one is actually V input two. V input is of stage two. And then the output again is from the collector. So that's why it's both are common emitter. And the V output two is actually the main output of the whole circuit, the two stages together. So we have the input one at the base, the output one at the collector of the first, first transistor. That's why it's common emitter. Then this output is actually the same as the input to the same to the next stage, stage two. And the output of stage two, which is VO2, is actually the main output of the whole circuit, VO. So we have here two stages, both of them are common emitter. And that configuration is called cascaded 
common emitter amplifiers. Okay, so let's put some numbers and try to solve this uh, problem. Okay, so R1 is 100 kilo ohms. So, and both stages are identical. So, stage one, and two are identical, identical. So R1 both made kilo ohms here, here and here. The R2 is 47 kilo ohms. Beta is 100. RL is two kilo ohms. RC is 6.8 kilo ohms. RE is 3.9 kilo ohms. Let me check one last time about uh, the numbers. Yes, they are right. Okay. Okay, so let's solve this, uh, or this, let's analyze this circuit. Okay, so let's first start by the DC. So DC analysis, let's solve it with, with below. So number one, DC analysis. So I guess it's a very big circuit, you know, maybe it looks scary for you, but believe me, when you just apply the rules, okay, you will find it easy. So let's see how, why it's easy. So in DC, all capacitors are open. So this guy will be open. So this part will be removed. You don't need it in DC, I mean. This capacitor is, is open. So these two circuits will not be connected in DC. And this capacitor is open. So this part, which is RL, is also removed in DC, I mean. And this is open. So we have RE in DC. This is also open. So we have RE in DC. So if we do this, let's now draw the circuits without the capacitors. So we'll have that situation. VCC and VCC by the way is equal to nine volt. I forget this. And here is RC. R E, R2, R1, and remember the circuit, the two circuits, two stages are identical. And then we will not draw the capacitor in between because it's open. So we have another circuit. Again, R C. R1, R2, RE, and same transistor with the same beta equal to 100. So we end up with two identical circuits. And they are, of course, isolated in DC. So just to solve one of them and the numbers that you get from uh, anyone will be, of course, applicable to the second, the second one. So if you get IB, IB1 is equal to IB2. IB in transistor one is equal to IB of transistor two or circuit two. I see here is also I see here. VBE is also VBE and so on. So we'll just solve one of them. Okay. Uh, so the two circuits are identical. So we just solve one of them. Good. And we learned how to do that. We usually make sevenths, the seven equivalent. Of the voltage divider. 
VCC, here is RC, RA, R7, V7. R7 will be R1 barrel R2. And this is will be 31.97 kilo ohms. And V7 will be uh, the voltage across R2. So it will be 2877 volt. So in that loop here, we can write its equation. So IB, which is flowing in that direction, equal to V7 minus 0.7 over R7 plus theta plus one RE. And based on that, let's divide this into halves. Based on that, IB will be equal to uh, uh, five point, sorry. This is not 5, 5.11 microns. Then of course IE or IC, because again, IE usually equal to IC, just forget in active region, equal to beta IB, so it will be 0 0.516 million bits. And we can determine VC of course, to be sure we are in the active region. VCC minus ICRC, and it will be 5.52. We can also determine VB to check that the junction two is, you know, is reverse. So VB is equal to V7 minus IB R7. So the voltage here minus the voltage drop across R7. So this guy will be 2.71. It's very sure that since VC is larger than VB, then G2, the junction between the collector and the base is reverse, as expected, of course. And we can determine RB, RB, I'm sorry, RB. RB is VT over IB. And VT is 25 millivolt, IB you just calculated. So this will be 4.89 kilo ohms. Okay, good. 